Hi, this is Sherry Blevins, and I'm super excited to introduce to you one of our staff for the International Choral Composers Institute, and her name is Kate Jansen. So welcome, Kate. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're so excited to have you, and like I I am so glad you said yes, because you bring to the party some special stuff. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is tell everybody how we met, which is you reached out to me for help to get your foot into the publishing world. And it's one of my passions is to really help people do that, which is the whole point of the Composers Institute. I believe there are so many talented people like you out there who are just like, I don't know how to take the first step what am I supposed to do and how do I do it? So do you want to talk a little bit about how we met? Yeah, absolutely. And for me, it, it wasn't even a matter of, well, at first it wasn't even like, how do I do this? It was a flat out, like, I just, it didn't, it didn't occur to me for whatever reason. I don't, maybe because I, I'm very, I'm a very busy musician. Um, right. But I was doing something called co-working with a music colleague of mine and i was writing accompaniment for one of my pieces when i compose for my choirs i have a very nasty habit of only writing the choral music and then writing chord changes and then i just make up accompaniment uh, on the fly <laughs> That's great. So I was sitting down and actually like, all right, let's figure out what this is so other people then could perform it. And after I finished it, I was like, oh, this is pretty brilliant. I think uh, I think I should publish this. But but how do I publish this? And I had posted about it and Roger Emerson actually responded to that and recommended Pavane or Pavan not sure how However you, you say it. Nobody knows. Yes. Um, but listen, yeah. Roger Emerson, I'm like, Ooh, we should tag him on this video. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 He's, he's great, the best. Great guy. He's so I haven't sweet. met him in person yet, but I absolutely love his heart and I'm my, yeah. his jam is, is my jam. Awesome. Um, and then after that, I was like, wait, I think I have more pieces I should probably publish, but like, I'm not sure who to reach out to because that piece that particular piece was just kind of straight ahead classical and i had my arrangement of scarborough fair which walks the line of jazz and classical mm, yeah, really yeah. walks the line eh, it's mostly jazz it's uh, jazzy yes yeah, <laughs> um so i noticed uh on facebook um i think we were already friends i think mm -hmm. you i just i saw so many of your posts and i was like i dig this woman I'm just Aww, i dig you um, <laughs> So I reached out to you and was like, hey, right. I see that you've published a bunch of music and uh, right. where where do I begin to yeah. uh, to publish things? And that's that's how that conversation got started. That's how we became friends. And by the way, you are one of my favorite people. Like you were so much fun. By the way, um, one of the things Kate and I like to do is go, dude, like when we talk to each other, I find it very entertaining. But nice. um, I wanted to California share, girl in me. For I sure. love it, dude. I'm not even a surfer, but I love to say, dude. Yeah. So I'm going to share with everybody. Um, this is the piece that introduced Kate and I. And Kate reached out to me to say like, hey, uh, maybe Henshaw would be a good fit for me. How did you get with them? And I said, well, send me your music and then I can help connect to you possibly. And when I heard it, I was like, yeah, this should be published. And so of course I sent it to my editor. I was like, hey, I think this should be published. He said, yeah, it should. And here's what that little birdie told me is that this is a bestseller of Henshaw from last year. Um, and so congratulations to you, Kate, for oh, like, you. that is a big hairy deal because yeah. Henshaw is a huge international publishing house to have a bestseller with them is that's bragging rights right there so <laughs> congratulations for that uh, but this if you need an SATB that's got a jazz flavor to a classic song like Scarborough Fair which I love y'all should check it out um, yeah it's definitely it's a Kate Jansen it's a Kate Jansen mm -hmm. arrangement when my choir hears this term now they they understand <laughs> what that means um it means it's I, awesome to me well I I take things and then I I change them uh harmonically speaking usually and sometimes also 
melodically speaking. So I love that. But that creativity and that the the ability to hear a melody and say like, ooh, you could do this chord or this chord or that chord, or like interpret it so many different, mm -hmm. really interesting creative ways is one of the things you're going to bring to the party as a teacher for what we now lovingly refer to as Icky, <laughs> because it's the International Choral Composers Institute, ICCI. Um, but no, I just, I wanted people to get to know you a little bit since you're one of the instructors. Um, in a way, people are going to choose their own instructor if they're an auditioned member and they mm -hmm. want to participate in the Choral Composers Institute, then they can submit their audition materials, but they also can request their teacher. Mm -hmm. And so you being um, a jazz expert, but you also work in musical theater, you have a lot of teaching experience. So you bring a lot of things to this party. So yeah. do you mind talking about your background just a little bit so people can get to know you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. So I got a double focus degree in both classical composition and jazz composition, which made for a very busy college yes. life um, at, at Sacramento State University in California, uh, Sacramento. And um, I actually I only got my bachelor's in both of them, but both of my senior recitals, the end of my recitals, both of my professors uh, told me that it was a master's recital that I gave. Ooh. Um, yeah. Wow. So like for my classical recital, I had a full orchestra piece at the end. And God. for one of the pieces, we actually, because I, I have friends who know how to make films, um, there was a piece that I wrote that was like a full uh, story. So it was no oh words, just instrumental. So we we played the piece at the same time that we had this movie going that we filmed this whole story. It was called The Final Hour of Henry Cromwell. Um, <laughs> and then for my jazz recital, I had, you know, I had big band pieces um, and vocal jazz. It was huge Dang. productions for both of them. So after that, Wow. I was already working almost full time at the same time getting my degrees. Uh, but then after I finished that, I was like, I just went into the field and never even thought to continue the education because it's like the whole point of getting education is to yeah. learn yeah. to do the thing that you want to do. Right. And go do the thing. So if you're doing the thing, like the only reason to keep this going is maybe for the pay, like if you want to work yeah. in education. But for me, I was like, I'm just, I'm doing the thing and I'm loving life. Like you're doing the thing, you're still doing the thing. Still doing the thing. I was like, all right, technically got, <laughs> technically I gave master recitals. So that's, that's, you're that's like, good. I think I'm good now. <laughs> so double focus in jazz and classical yep. uh let's see and then i mean i started accompanying choirs when i was 15 and wow. started getting paid for it when i was 17 i was a senior in high school Dude. <laughs> playing piano for a german choir it was oh, it was a grand oh time oh my god i ended up directing that choir years later through kind of a, a fortuitous situation uh and then you know writing music so actually i have two pieces right. now published on um, fischer hausa and musique on die Musik. and both oh of those God. came from writing these pieces for that german choir published um, with let's see uh um, fischer hausa is published with pavane and then musique on die Musik is published with oh no i don't even know it just happened it was gonna be with henshaw <laughs> But then my editor was like, wait, we should do it with this oh. company. And it's Bradley. Ooh, oh, my God. No, now. it's cool. Listen, Terrible at name it dropping. is a super good problem to have if you have so many published that you're like, which one is that again? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, take that as a good sign. You're like, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So you are just so eclectic from classical, like German heavy duty stuff to jazz and you also work in musical theater, right? Yeah, I'm the full-time music director at the Spark Performing Arts Center in Boulder, Colorado. Um, we actually just finished doing Carrie the musical, which I also understudied the role of Margaret, wow. which was an absolute blast because I oh love gosh. acting as well. I love <laughs> creating. So, that is so when fun. I was, when I was a kid, I would experience physical pain in my spine and like oh. down into my tailbone if I wasn't creating. 
Like if I went too long and we're talking oh. like a, maybe a week was too long. I had to be making something oh like always. So I'm just, I'm a big fan of, of just, I'm a big fan of art and yeah. expressing yourself in any medium that you desire. Right. Um, and so that, I mean, that also my teaching philosophy kind of falls in line with that. I am a big, big fan of people expressing themselves and expressing their truth and moving through the world as authentically as mm. possible. So when I go into a room teaching, whatever it is, right. choir, musical theater, teaching about math, who knows? Yeah. Um, the, the jam is... Hi, Kitty. <laughs> Stephanie loves to be a part of that. I everything. love that. Um, the jam is seeing everybody on a soul level mm -hmm. and bringing out whatever and whoever yeah. they are, right? With no judgment. Like my, my thing is, I also love cats. <laughs> Me too. Um, that's right. That's, that's the point. That's the point. That is the whole point. Alive, right. It's just that's the point. moving through the world yeah. as you whatever yeah. whoever that right. that looks like so yeah. because i wasn't really allowed that space mm -hmm. as a kid i am now a big fan and supporter of getting everybody to rise to the occasion yes. that they are which is everybody right and just being the mirror of being like you're awesome let me just reflect to you right. how brilliant you are so that's that's kind of that's my teaching philosophy i, I love that about you can i just say nice. like i already knew that about you without you articulating it like as as much as you just articulated it i knew that about you because you always came across to me as a free spirit and just full of life and energy and love and i think the most important thing that i think i want people to know about the composers institute is that whoever their teacher is and i know for you this is definitely true they're going to be supported as an artist, but also as a person and that they're going to, they're going to get the tools that they need, like just actual left brain kind of tools, but they're also going to get emotional support and that right brain creative support, which is what we all need to thrive. And wow. I'm so grateful that you are available um, summer 2025 to be with us for the Composers Institute, because I think you and whoever your students are, are going to make some magic. And by the way, if you don't know this and you're just now tuning in, uh, if you are a student with Kate Jansen, Kate is going to choose one or two students who have their works premiered on our final concert. So that is a big hairy deal, but mm -hmm. all the students will have the opportunity to have their works featured in a reading session. So whether you're chosen for the final concert or a reading session, your work is gonna get out there in the ears of a bunch of choral people. <laughs> Um, and that is step one to making your choral music published dreams come true as a composer. So we're super excited about all of that. But I want to thank you so much, Kate, for being willing to be with us to bring your talent, your heart and your awesome personality. Uh, we can't be more excited. Thank yeah. you so much. Same, same. Absolutely. It's my <laughs> pleasure. Can't, can't wait. Yes. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Sherry Blevins music at gmail.com. You can also reach me uh, through the icky website, which is long, but it's a good one. International Choral Composers Institute dot org. <laughs> uh, but we look forward to seeing you then. Have a great one, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.